What is up bras and welcome back. This here is going to be your ultimate guide to Maverick and Clash tricks. Now I have combined minds with the geniuses Dangleberries. We are uploading this video at the exact same time and in their video they have some spots that are not included in this video and vice versa. I'll leave a link down below, go and check out their channel. Now jumping right into it, Maverick is the ultimate mirror destroyer. If any mirrors are ever placed on the outside, he can take out any mirror regardless of it being muted or bandit charged. All you gotta do is lie down, you can get an angle straight up and his blowtorch will even take out the tank and pop the mirror. Now in this exact particular location, somebody could potentially do a run out on the doorway. A good team is gonna have somebody on flank watch and that's not gonna be possible though. But you guys see how popular it is to place mirrors like say a uh, consulate garage or chalet garage. This pretty much makes placing mirrors on the outside garages like that where there's no potential flank obsolete. Because from there, there's no way to stop it. All right, so backing it up a step, let's learn how to be very efficient with Maverick. And then from there, we're gonna start stacking it on and we're gonna be evolving the different things that you can do with him. So starting off, you are able to make four crouch holes if you are efficient with his ammo. You should be able to do a full circle. I found it easier starting at the bottom and then just drawing a very, very smooth circle without ADSing. When you ADS, it makes it very, very slow to aim. You should be able to make a total of four crouch holes if you choose to use his ammo and blowtorch in this way. There's so many different ways that you can do it and of course, it doesn't matter, the speed of the circle is the same whether it's a soft wall or if it is a reinforced wall. Now, I highly recommend going and getting lots of practice with that because now we're gonna be taking it to a whole nother level with Maverick. So once you are very good at being efficient with Maverick's ammo source, what we're gonna do is have a buddy throw a smoke grenade and the animation in Siege is very strange on this one. The smoke actually is gonna go through the reinforced wall and pop out the other side. By doing this, we're gonna be able to create I don't know if many people are gonna get this joke, but the Dexter Dokes surprise mother effer, sneaky sneaky just appear through the wall magic trick. This is absolutely insane. You can do this on any site regardless of bandits, mutes. You're literally gonna look like you're walking through the reinforced wall. That's pretty much what we're doing. All right, so on this, originally you used to be able to one tap to barbed wire. That's actually not the case anymore. It actually is gonna take a little bit more time with the blowtorch and ammo resource in order to melt it down completely. That's kind of what's happening with barbed wire. With other gadgets, however, you can still completely just one tap them, which is kind of strange. Dangleberries and I both agree that this probably will be changed in the future, but for now, you can literally one tap shields evil eyes, bulletproof cameras, and pretty much every single gadget with the exception of barbed wire. Now Dangleberries and I also agree that it would really make more sense if it would take some melting down of at least the evil eye and bulletproof cameras before they just pop. You literally just poke it one time with the blowtorch and it'll blow up in your face, exactly like what you're gonna see right here. So keep this in mind, this can create some deadly combos like we saw earlier, popping the shield, doing some quick peeks, and this also makes you a complete gadget wrecking machine, so keep this in mind. All right, now this is technically, I guess, two tricks, but you know what, it just kind of turned out into a combined one in this edit, so we're gonna just go with it. When there's a wooden barricade, you can create silent pathways by just crawling underneath it after you blowtorch out a corner. Normally people accomplish this by meleeing it out, but that makes it very loud. Now another trick with walls that you can do is you can create murder holes in castle walls similar to how Glaz can do. Now Glaz can't actually destroy castle walls anymore, but Maverick can and he can also create those very deadly murder holes. And remember, it is insanely silent. A lot of times this will go unnoticed. All right, so on this one, I want you guys to imagine being the defender, time is getting pinched down, there's still attackers alive, and you don't know which direction they are gonna be coming from or holding an angle on you. Now, this can be insanely stressful. If you have to check like four different doorways in a window, the odds of when they come in and you happen to be looking in that direction are very slim. Now by using Maverick and his very silent techniques, you're gonna do this like times a million. What you can do is go above objectives, create like 
over a dozen different lines of sight and murder holes, and then the defender has such a slim chance of looking and peeking in the right direction that it will actually keep you that much safer when you do make a push. If the defender has 13 different angles to check versus just holding an angle on one, which one do you think is gonna give the attacker the advantage? That's the mindset that you need to be using if you decide to use Maverick's utility while attacking from above. Now, this one's very straightforward. I'm pretty sure every content creator on YouTube probably thought of this the first day of the TTS, but something cool that you can do with claymores is plant the claymore down, see where the tripwires go, and then just basically one tap the wall, and then by doing that, you're gonna allow one of the tripwires or more than one if you, that's what you choose to do, but then that'd make it more obvious. It's gonna go straight through the wall. Now combining this by putting it underneath of the mirror can be very deadly. Sometimes the mirror will be so focused on checking on what's going on outside that this could go unnoticed against some players. Like you see me holding the angle right here, Bandit gets completely taken out and that hold goes pretty much unseen until Bandit dies and you realize what happens. This is a cool little trick that you guys can start adding on on so many different objectives. It doesn't even have to be under a mirror. This will work on any wall, whether it's on soft walls going through rotation areas or on reinforced walls straight on the objective. This is definitely a cool move to keep in mind next time you have a claymore because you don't even necessarily need to be Maverick to do it. You just gotta ask Maverick to open up a tiny little hole for you and you could potentially have a bunch of different claymore traps placed around the map. Now, Alan from the Dangleberries figured out a way to pretty much win every single duel that you get into with Clash. Let's listen into the live comms and then we'll talk about it. Wow. Four eliminated. Mission success. That is definitely broken, dude. <laughs> that is insane. Now with this, it is insanely easy. The number one way to counter Clash is to rush and melee him and get his shield out of the way, right? Well, by playing as Clash, all you gotta do is anticipate the melee and switch your weapons as he's about to melee you. By the time you do this, he's actually gonna melee the shield while you're switching weapons and while he's still in the animation of meleeing, you're gonna be shooting him in the face already. An insane mechanic that is in game currently. I know that this says TTS, but we did test this out after the live servers came out and it is 100% working. Op four eliminated all friendlies. To get the timing right, it is literally unstoppable. Now this mechanic or idea of Clash is kind of covered in my previous Clash Cav combo video. Now you can use Clash in combination with literally any other defensive operator and use it as kind of like a portable mirror. Now it's not a one-way mirror, they can still see you, but that doesn't matter because you're completely bulletproof. You can see what's going on, you control when the pre-fire happens. Try experimenting going into rounds with the mindset of that it's a portable mirror. That's gonna make for an insanely deadly combination when you're with a well-coordinated teammate or friend. Now this next one is the idea of not being afraid of being outside with Clash. Now this is gonna lead to so many different options. Let's take the balcony on Skyscraper for example. I'm not saying that like right off the bat, Clash should definitely jump outside, but a lot of times there's gonna be some nice Valkyrie cameras outside and a couple minutes into the round, a lot of times there's only gonna be a couple people left and the team has a general idea of where they are at. Now, if I know that the last two attackers are all the way on the north end of the balcony, Clash is pretty much 100% invincible if she does something like jumping out of Geisha and combining that with having a friend using her as yet again another portable mirror. You could do this with so many different options, just standing at the end of balconies outside and your friend doing quick peeks around it. So many different cool combinations you can do. And you guys can just imagine how annoying this would be if you're the last attacker and you have to push a clash that's on the other side of a balcony and your only option is to like jump through a window inside objective, obviously die by doing that, or just by rushing them. And then if you step on like a goo mine or something, oh my God, rage quit. Or eliminated. 
Now moving on, guess what? We got a little mini Montane on our team. Instead of tanking Capcan traps, we're gonna be tanking Claymores right here. And if the attacker happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, we're gonna either force a betrayal or force a suicide. All you gotta do is trigger the Claymore at the right time and you're gonna get one of the easiest and funniest kills of your life. Now this is actually way more common than a lot of people think. Pretty much any doorway this is gonna work. And in this next trick, we're taking this and evolving it even more. This next trick is absolutely insane. Now huge shout out and 100% credit to the legend Microwave for figuring this one out. When there's a claymore outside of a window, you can actually put Clash's shield on your back. You're gonna jump out, face your back to the claymore. So basically jumping out, doing a turn, tanking the claymore and then once it detonates you can turn around do a 180 and take out anybody that's outside because they're going to feel safe. This is exactly what it's going to look like in a very very realistic situation that you can find yourself in. Well anyways you guys I hope you learned an absolute ton from this video. Let me know down below what your guys' favorite trick from this one was. Again, huge shout out to the Dangleberries for collabing our mindsets together on this video. Definitely go and check out his version down below. Also, huge thanks to Two Broke Gamers for helping us get some of these clips. I love you guys all. Those guys are absolute legends. Anyways, you guys, I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. Hope you guys all have an awesome week. Love you all. Peace.